Welcome friends. I'm excited to flow with you today. This is a short, quick, full body flow. I'm just gonna work through all of our major joints, maybe get our heart rate a touch elevated and bring some awareness to our bodies. You will need a mat and a flat surface. You could have some yoga blocks around, but they're not required. We'll start on our backs with our legs long parted about the width of our mat. Palms can be face up about the width of the mat. If we need energy, palms face down. If we want some grounding today. Settle in. Feel the floor beneath you. Feel your muscles start to loosen. Draping over your bones. Start to breathe in and out, primarily through the nose, sealing the lips, beginning our ujjayi breath. We create a slight constriction in the back of our throat, and this sounds a little like the ocean or Darth Vader-esque. If you can hear your breath, you're on the right path. Feel the ribs in the sides and back body open up as you inhale. As you exhale, follow that breath all the way out from the base of the pelvis. On your next inhale, reach your arms over your head. Reach your legs long in front. Take a big breath in as you reach. As you exhale, walk your hands and your legs over to the left. Maybe your right ankle crosses over your left ankle. Maybe you grab your right wrist with your left hand and just tug. Feeling the lats, obliques, abdominals opening up as we inhale. As we exhale. On your next inhale, reach arms and legs back through center. Exhale, arms and legs second side. Maybe left ankle stacks over the right. Maybe you grab the left wrist with the right hand. Noticing how the right and the left side feel similar but different. For two. Last one, inhale, bring your arms and legs through center. Bring the knees into the chest on your exhale and just start to rock right to left. Giving yourself a nice lower back massage on your sacrum. Maybe you start to make circles with your knees. Go the other direction with your circles. Grab the backs of the hamstrings, begin to rock and roll. Meet me in a tabletop. You can take one rock, you can take six, however long you'd like. In your tabletop position, your knees under your hips and your wrists under your shoulders. Start to settle in. Feel the abdomen. I always have a tendency to dip my belly down. I want you to pretend like there's a campfire here and you're pulling your belly away from the mat. Your rib cage and your hips come closer together. Turn your hands around, fingers face the knees. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, shift back. Inhale, bring your body forward, exhale. Hips coming to the heels. You're here for three. Stay with your breath. For two. And last one. Inhale, neutralize your tabletop, fingers forward, extend your right leg back. Inhale, push your toes, exhale, drive your heel behind you. Noticing our upper body, we're pushing the mat away. We're keeping our core contained. On your next inhale, lift your right leg and your left arm. As you exhale, connect the elbow to the knee, round the spine. Inhale, reach the fingers long. Exhale, connect. Inhale, reach. 
One more. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee under, hip wrist under, shoulder. Let's do a few rounds of cat-cow. As you inhale, drop your belly. As you exhale, beginning at your tailbone, begin to round the spine, moving through low back, middle back, upper back, head is the last to arrive. As you move into your cow, we again start at your tailbone and end at our head. Trying to work through the 26 vertebra of the spine like a ladder for three. Let's do and one. Inhale, find your neutral spine. Extend your left leg back. Inhale, come forward through the toes. Exhale, push back into the heel. On your next inhale, lift the left leg. Extend the right arm straight out from the torso. So we're not too high, not too low. Somewhere right in the center. Exhale, connect elbow and knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Inhale to reach. One more. Inhale, extend arm and leg. Exhale, knee under hip, wrist under shoulder. Tuck the toes, lift the knees and hover. Feel the belly. It wants to push out. I want you to try to draw everything into itself from the sides of the back body. Big breath in. Exhale, down dog, hips high. So we can do our down dog a few different ways. We can have a longer down dog. Pushing through our hands and our feet equally, trying to sit our tailbone up and back at a diagonal. Or you can take a step in if you feel some tightness in your back. Soften the knees a bit, relieve the tension in the low back. So assess what you need. Hang here for a moment. We can sway, dip the hips, bend the knees. We can walk our dogs, open our armpits, release your head and your neck. Feel your rib cage closing in. Inhale, roll forward into a plank. Exhale, down dog, hips high. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, hips go high. One more. Inhale, roll forward and hold. Scan the body, starting at your ankles. Begin to squeeze the inner thighs and the glutes. Feel the campfire under your core, encouraging you to stay lifted. Soften your elbow joints, squeeze your forearm, look at your hands. Can you spread your fingers and grip through all 10? Notice the head position. Can you keep the head straight out of the body, lifting through the throat? Big breath in. You can drop to your knees if you need to. As you exhale, try to lower your body down in one unit. Again, knees can be lowered. Release, let everything go. Press down through the tops of the feet and the pubic bone. Take your hands under your shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, push down through the feet, the pelvis. Feel the shoulder blades pinching, lengthening the back of the neck, reaching through the crown of the head. Core contained. Exhale, release. Inhale, pull through heels of hands. Low belly pulling in. Shoulder blades pulling down. Maybe the hands lift. Exhale, release. Deep breath and lift. Hands lift, maybe the feet. And exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, engaging the quadriceps. Deep breath in. Exhale. Push up. Inhale, settle. Exhale, down dog. Tippy toe walk to the top of your mat like you're moving through something thick, honey. Soften the knees, feet shoulder width. Sway, release your upper body completely. Hands can be on the ground, grabbing opposite elbows. We could relax our hands on our low back. We're not pulling down, we're just laying them there. Or they could be on the back of the head. This feels really lovely. Nod the head no to any negativity of the rest of this practice this year. Nod your head a yes to being excited. 
being a student. Student to life, set an intention, deep breath in. Exhale, release, bend your knees, stack your spine. Head is the last to arrive. Find Tadasana. Look, don't lean back that far. Start to rock and roll along the toe to heel. Looking for your center, I like to close my eyes down here. Once you find your center, pick the toes up, spread them out, and set them down. Feel the knees lifting by engaging the quadriceps. Press down through the big toes, feel the arches of the feet lift. Feel your pelvis coming under your shoulders. Feel your rib cage lifting and drawing in with the shoulder blades pulling back onto the back. Lifting through the back of the head. Inhale, circle sweep arms to sky, urdha hastasana, gaze through the fingers. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift your heart half high. Exhale, step or hop back. Bent elbows, chaturanga, knees can be lower. Shoulders and elbows in one line. Inhale, upward facing dog, thighs are lifted. We could also be at cobra here. And exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. On your next inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. As you exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lift your heart half high, spine extends forward. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, circle sweep arms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to prayer at heart center. That was your sun salutation A. Let's do one sun salutation B. Inhale, chair pose, sit hips, hips back, heart reaches forward. If you need some more grounding today or if hips are a little wider, feet could be about shoulder width. That feels really lovely. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift your heart half high. Exhale, step or hop back, bent elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Back heel spins down at a 45 degree angle. Arms reach tall. I notice my hip points, I try to square them off. So I might take a step forward with my back leg. In my back leg, I'm pressing down through the pinky toe side edge of my foot, pulling my foot into my center. Front foot toe spread out, set down. Front knee goes over second and third toe. Shoulders are square, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Back heel spins to the sky, hands plant to frame your front foot. Maybe your right leg floats, maybe it doesn't. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. Back heel spins at your 45, hips square, arms reach. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Back heel spins, maybe back foot floats. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful practice. Three breaths here. Trying to send your breath to the deepest space in your lungs. On your next inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward as you exhale, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift your heart half high. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, chair pose, hips sink back, heart reaches forward. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to prayer at heart center. <sighs> Let's take one of those breaths. As you exhale, we're going to make this ha sound. This vibration that it sends through our body helps to stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system. Basically, it helps us feel really good. Take a deep breath in. Ah. One more of those. Inhale. Ah. Mm. So yummy. Inhale, lift the arms.
arms to the sky, or Dhanasasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the heart half high. Exhale, step or hop back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to sky. Notice your pelvis. Can you keep your hips balanced? Right hip aiming to the floor, right toes aiming down. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee comes to your right wrist. Maybe your left leg reaches back. If hips are really tight, this position might not feel the best for you. Figure four on your back, your right angle crossover left knee is a great place to go. And your half pigeon, as you settle in, inhale, left to the sky. Exhale, fold over the front leg. We'll stay here for a minute. Your work is done. Now we down regulate. Maybe you crawl your left toes back. You could do a figure four with your arms to deepen this stretch by extending your right arm forward and bringing your left arm underneath. Let's say that my butt is lifted here. I could have a yoga block or in this instance, a weight just under my seat for support. Three more breaths. On your next inhale, take your hands under your shoulders, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, push into your hands, extend your right leg to the sky, flex and extend the knee three times. Set the right foot down, inhale, left leg to sky, exhale, half pigeon. Left knee comes to left wrist. We could take our option here, figure four on our back, left ankle over right knee. I'll inhale, lift my arms to the sky, growing taller, exhale, folding, melting over the front leg. Now maybe I'm really tight, and this is as far as I can fold. I could grab a yoga block and set it up for some support. Three more breaths. On your next inhale, hands come under the shoulders, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, step back, down, dog three, open and close the left knee. For three, for two, and one. Meet me in a seat. Extend the left leg, take a bend to the right knee, pick your right foot up and cross it over your left thigh. Grab your right thigh with your left arm. Inhale, lift your right arm all the way up and behind you, gazing past your right shoulder. As you inhale, inviting more space into the ribs. Maybe you're untwisting just a bit. As you exhale, we deepen the twist. Inhale, soften. Exhale, surrender. Deep breath in. As you exhale, release. Forward. Extend right leg. Left ankle crosses right knee. Grab your right thigh, pull it to you. Take a deep breath in. Lift your right arm up and around, or your left arm rather. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, deepen your twist. Inviting space into the body as you inhale, deepening your stretch as you exhale. Your next exhale, we release our twist, extend your leg forward, uncrossing over the right. Bend the knees, feet to the floor, arms extend forward. Start to peel your spine down one vertebra at a time. Hmm, happy baby. 
Part the knees, grab for your outer calves, ankles, or outer edges of the feet. Forearms are inside the shins. We wanna keep the low back pressing down and the shoulders pressing down. Putting pressure to the inner knee, the inner thigh. I could sway, I could kick one leg out, extend one leg out. Maybe try to be carefree here, release any expectations of doing it the right way. You're doing it, you're doing it right. One more inhale. As you exhale, release, give yourself a lovely squeeze. Filling your body up with the gratitude that you gave a little time, a little love to yourself today. Inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. This is where we started. I want you to take notice of how you feel in this moment. A little more settled. A little more at peace. I like to take a hand on my heart space and hand on my pelvis just to feel my own energy. 